We'll get ready to welcome in a great former Georgia running back and a uh, terrific, terrific uh, figure in the program's history, and now a guy who's doing some really cool things with our friends at the Players' Lounge as well. It is Keith Marshall here on our program today. Keith, thank you so much for spending time with us here today. Certainly appreciate that and hope you're doing well. Good morning, good morning. I'm doing great this morning. I want to appreciate uh, you know you guys for having me on. So the Players' Lounge got some really fun things going on as we head towards G-Day and has had some really cool things going on now for quite some time. I want to find out more about that here in a moment. We talked to Aaron Murray about some of that last week there as well. But before we get into that, Keith, I do have to find out from you. You know, you saw the dogs hoist that national championship trophy uh, last season. It's been a long time coming. A lot of players who came through this program know how hard this program has worked to be in the position to win that national title. And now it has finally happened. As a former player turned fan of this program, how good did it feel for you to see UGA uh, bring it home uh, this past season? Uh, it was amazing, man. I think you hit the nail on the head. It's been a long time coming. Uh, you know, I think me and a lot of the boys that I came through with, obviously we had a moderate amount of success and we felt like we were close at times. So, um, you know, this championship in a way felt like we won. Um, and, 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 you know, as I said, we've been so close for so long. We've had the talent. Uh, we've had so many heartbreaks, particularly to Alabama. So to finally, uh, you know, bridge that gap and to do it by beating Alabama, who beat us in SEC championship kind of as an underdog and to come back in the national championship and get it done. Um, it was really an amazing, amazing event, man. I'm excited for the program and what it means for us. And now to see if we can carry that forward and really develop into what I believe to be, you know, we have the ability to be a mainstay in college football. And so I'm excited to see that happen. And obviously carrying success forward means making sense about the current landscape of the sport. And one of the big new things on the horizon for George and everybody else, name, image, likeness opportunities for players and fans who want to take advantage of some of that stuff as well and help support the players they love, maybe even get more access to those players through all of that there as well. And an organization that you work with is a big part of that there as well with the Players Lounge. And I think this is really cool because, as I said before, for a lot of players on the Georgia roster and across college football there as well, they're getting a chance to, to make some money through their connection with the Players Lounge. And for a lot of fans themselves, they're getting a chance to interact with some of these players online or in some cases in person there as well and create those opportunities there too. You know, Keith, from your perspective, what's it been like working with the Players Lounge? And for folks who are still kind of trying to make sense of how an organization, a company like this, steps up to serve both fans and players right now, what can you tell our audience to help them kind of understand the mission of the Players Lounge a little bit better? Absolutely. So I guess to back up a little bit, you know, when I was in college, obviously we didn't have the opportunity to get paid. And I was on a few of the different boards that were pushing forward different initiatives to get college athletes access to more benefits, such as, you know, uh, increased stipend so you can go out and enjoy yourself and things like that. And I think we've all heard stories of guys that, you know, had families back at home that needed the support or, you know, contrarily, we've heard stories of guys that were big time college athletes and then got hurt and never had a chance to cash in on um, the success that they that they were able to accomplish on the field. So um, the fact that I was a part of those conversations back when I was in college and now I'm in a position uh, where I co-founded a company that's really, you know, it, it's, it's really, uh, I would say we're a pioneer in defining yeah. what this new landscape is going to look like. Um, as you mentioned, you know, our model is basically taking the legacy model of fan and player engagement where they go through a third party media house. And now it's like, OK, these kids can get paid. Um, the fans want inside access anyway. So we just want to have a platform that allows uh, fans and athletes to communicate in a way that allows these athletes ways to monetize and develop their brands in a way that's authentic to them. And so, um, again, to be at the forefront of that movement has really, really been awesome. We've got a great team of guys. We've had a moderate amount of success so far. Um, obviously, we had to start at Georgia being home base, yeah. you know, being where we, we all come from and love so much, and we're excited to kind of expand this thing outwards. I think one of the cool things about learning more about this is, as you said, it's not just a chance for players to make some money, which is something that, as a former player, I know is uh, near and dear to your heart, but for fans who always want that deeper connection or to feel a little closer to the to the product, you know, the access granted to fans throughout all of this and the NFT tokens, for instance, that uh, the Players' Lounge has sold and the access that kind of comes along with that that's been one of the cool things for me is to see how some of the work that you guys have done here has opened the door for fans to get a little closer connection to the players they enjoy cheering for absolutely so i mean to start us off you know in our message board on discord which you know everybody listening you should go join we have a bunch of former players and current players who are in there on a daily basis communicating with these fans that follow the program ever so closely um, and then obviously on the fan side, you know, when you purchase the NFT, you know, NFT is a bit of a, uh, you know, a cryptic term. A lot of people don't totally understand what it means. Sure. But, you know, the way that we have marketed that is just to explain it as it's a ticket or it's your subscription to join the community. And when you do so, 
Uh, you know, first and foremost, you get direct and immediate access to the players. You get access to content that's going to be curated and produced and only be available to people within that community. Um, and then you get access to some of the real live events, um, which we are launching uh, next weekend at G-Day. So uh, we're super excited about that. We have a tailgate on the day of, the morning of G-Day. That's going to be awesome. We're expecting a lot of uh, the DGD Mafia to come out. We're expecting go. a lot of our... Uh, you know, former players will come out. We have the golf tournament the day before, which is going to be an awesome opportunity. We're going to support some local nonprofits there. Um, and then we're going to take it Friday night and we're going to get Silver Dollar, which is one of everybody's favorite hangout spots if you went to school in Athens. Yeah. So we're super excited about everything that we're doing. Right, I want to find out more about the big G-Day weekend coming up uh, before we let you go. Let me squeeze in one more thing before we get there, though. We said before your position, obviously running back, and you know what it means to be, uh, you know, the the challenge of playing the SEC and what that's all about. And so when you look at this group of running backs for Georgia here this year, we were actually talking about this before you joined us, you know, uh, a chance for Kendall Milton to have a little bit more of a spotlight on him this year. Kenny McIntosh to continue some of the things that he's shown in Georgia uniform. There are guys like Dejon Edwards who've been waiting the wings for bigger opportunity. Freshman players like Branson Robinson kind of stepping into what could be a pretty interesting role. When you look at what Georgia kind of has at running back for the upcoming season, what do you see from this group and the kind of potential they might have to 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 really help get Georgia where it wants to go here in 2022? Well, I mean, everybody knows, you know, Georgia's known for having dominant running backs. That's kind of one of our uh, one of our things that we push out. And so I think we certainly have the talent in the room. I'm super excited to see what Milton's going to be able to do. When you look at him from just a, you know, physical capability, he has everything that you want in a running back. He's big, fast, strong, runs through tackles, has good balance. So super excited for him to get in a position where he can showcase a little bit of that, get more touches. Um, and then a guy that I think has been extremely underrated, and I think he kind of feels that niche of the third down, do it all, you can put him out wide, is Kenny McIntosh. I mean, he's, he's smooth as butter. Um, he's probably the most natural runner I've seen in Georgia in a while, and that's saying a lot because we've got a lot of really good running backs. And so I think those two guys have an opportunity to really establish themselves and make a name for themselves. And then obviously you mentioned some of the other guys that are waiting in the, waiting in the ring. I'm super excited to see what Robinson is going to do. Um, you know, he got a lot of high praise, high comparison, some names. I'm not going to put that on him at, at this age, but I'm, I'm really excited to see what he's going to bring to the table. Keith, I think that's a terrific analysis. Let me remind folks, as we said before, going into the G-Day weekend, you got the big event on Friday, you got the golf tournament, the event at Silver Dollar, and some really cool stuff coming up on uh, Saturday there as well at Creature Comforts. Remind folks again, all the fun stuff going on there when it comes to the uh, G-Day weekend. Uh, give us a little bit of a reminder about all the great stuff the Players' Lounge has going on. Absolutely. So as again, you know, the people that purchased our DGD Mafia NFTs, they get access to these events. And the first event will be on Friday night. We're going to have a golf tournament um, where we're having, you know, holders play with former players. So that'll be an awesome opportunity for fans to get interact with some of the players past. Um, then that night, we're going to go to Silver Dollar. We're going to have a hangout there. And that's really targeted at, you know, anybody that wants to come that's in town. But obviously, you know, Greek life and the students that are super supportive of the program and are excited about the Players' Lounge. And then we'll move into Saturday morning, which we'll have the, the tailgate at Creature Conference, which is open to everybody. Obviously, we'll have some special perks that, are, that go to the DGD Mafia. And we're expecting to have a lot of uh, – a lot of former players there as well. So we're really excited about it. Um, if you're looking for more information and figuring out how you can get involved, you can hit us up on our website. It is theplayerslounge.io. Or you can follow us on our socials, which is just TH Players Lounge or the DGD Mafia. And so if you want more information on those events and figure out how you can attend, uh, you know, check us out there. Keith, I'm also happy to announce that Dog Nation is going to be broadcasting live from the Creature Comforts event there on Saturday prior to G-Day. So for the folks who can't be in Athens to see it in person, we're going to bring a taste of the Players Lounge to the folks on our own channels there that day, getting a chance to speak to some of the great former Georgia dogs in the room there live from Creature Comforts on Saturday. That's a place that we love anyway. And, of course, G-Day, a great time to be in Athens. And so Dog Nation is going to be broadcasting a video live with the Players Lounge before uh, G-Day on that particular Saturday. So, Keith, on behalf of everybody at Dog Nation, I can't tell you how excited we are to be a part of some of the cool things that y'all are going to be doing there that weekend. Absolutely, man. And we appreciate your support and the support from the greater Georgia community so far. You know, I think we couldn't have done this project, pulled it off without the support of organizations such as you guys. And, uh, you know, we're really thankful for that and looking forward to making sure that we deliver on kind of the value proposition that we've publicly, uh, you know, marketed. So, Well, Keith, I'll tell you this. We love to see former dogs go on to do great things. And that's obviously what you're doing right now. So congratulations on your success. Continue success there as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you on G-Day weekend. And as you said, I'll invite folks to check it out on social at TH Play Players Lounge on social media or the Players Lounge uh, That's the website, the Players Lounge Find out more about the cool things that are going on, both for G Day weekend and everything else there as well. Thanks for your time, and we'll look forward to getting a chance to speak to you soon. 
Absolutely. Thank you. And as always, go dogs, man. Yes, sir. Good stuff there from uh, Keith Marshall. So to give you an idea about this, we are going to be live there that day. We'll do Kroger kickoff on Saturday of G-Day. That's April 16th from Creature Comforts facility, uh, their, their great facility there in downtown, hanging out with Keith Marshall. Chan Bailey's going to be there. A lot of former dogs going to be on hand uh, there at the Creature Comforts event on that Saturday. So I'm really excited about being able to do all of that leading into G-Day. And I just uh, I love to see a guy like Keith Marshall having the success that he's having. We had Aaron Murray on last week on the same topic, uh, doing great things there as well. It's 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 a very cool thing to be able to see. And uh, congratulations to them and looking forward to being a part of that uh, with Dog Nation here uh, coming up in uh, just a uh, 